Hi, this is Rev Ed with today's Back Porch Devotional from Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The 23rd Psalm is probably the best known of all the Psalms. Even people with no religious background whatsoever have heard it, and it even crops up in totally secular movies, usually at a funeral scene but it has to be one of the most quoted, most well-known, and most memorized portions of Scripture. And there's very good reason for that. It is one of the most beautiful expressions of the relationship between God and his people. And of course, it was written by David, who even though he was a king, remembered what it was like when he was a boy to be a shepherd. And he just rejoices throughout this Psalm at the care and compassion and protection that God, who is his shepherd, gives for him. And so I just want to look at this piece by piece as we go. And we're just going to start with the first verse. The Lord is my shepherd. That alone has just a wealth of meaning in it. If you look in your Bible, you will see that the word Lord is all in capital letters, small capital letters. And whenever you see the word Lord written that way in Scripture, that means it is a reference to the divine name, Yahweh. You'll remember that was the name by which God revealed himself to Moses at the burning bush. The name, I am that I am, the great I am. So when David says, the Lord is my shepherd, this just isn't any garden variety God, any garden variety Lord. This is the Lord, the Lord of the covenant, the Lord who delivered his people, the Lord who had promised never to leave them or forsaken. That's the Lord that David is talking about. And that's why his assurance and his peace are so great. He says, the Lord is my shepherd. Not that the Lord will be my shepherd or used to be my shepherd, or I hope maybe he will one day become my shepherd, but it is a constant ongoing thing. The Lord is my shepherd. And then it's very personal, isn't it? The Lord is my shepherd. David understands his relationship with this Lord. Now, if we say the Lord is my shepherd, what does that make us? Sheep. And you know, that's not a compliment. Sheep are not known for their intelligence. They're not known for their ability to get out of trouble. They're not known for anything except having to have somebody to watch over them all the time. Left to themselves, they will get in trouble. They will get lost. They will get trapped. They'll get eaten by wild animals. Sheep very definitely need a shepherd. And frankly, there's something within us that resists the idea that we need a shepherd. We don't need anybody to be the boss of us, do we? Well, if you just look at your own life with any honesty, you'll say, yeah, I do. Left to ourselves, we're gonna wander off in paths that are not good for us. We're gonna need somebody to tend to us. We're gonna need somebody to guide us and care for us. We need a shepherd. And the shepherd that we need is the Lord. It's dangerous and scary to see how many people seek other things for their shepherd to meet their needs. But David knows that with the Lord as his shepherd, as we can know, if the Lord is our shepherd, I shall not want. I will have no lack of anything that I truly need. This is just one of the richest images in all of scripture. Uh, Isaiah 40 verse 11 says, he will tend his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom and gently lead those who are with young. It is a tender image, a caring image, a protecting image, a nurturing image. And this is the Lord that we're speaking about. It is a beautiful, beautiful picture. And of course, the ultimate shepherd is Jesus himself, John chapter 10. He says, the thief only comes to kill and destroy. I came that they might have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Shepherds don't come any better than that. Jesus is the good shepherd of our lives and we can trust him with everything. That's why we know that we will lack nothing, why we will have no want. God will provide all of our needs 
not everything that we desire, but everything that we need, and we can trust him with it. And so we have this great, powerful confidence in the Lord who gives himself for us, who lays down his life for us. This is the one who is our shepherd. I want you to meditate today on those words, the Lord is my shepherd, and see how truly you believe it. Because if we have this confidence that it is the Lord God, the deliverer, Yahweh himself, who is our shepherd, then we ought to be able to sleep in peace and go about our day in joy in full confidence, knowing that there is nothing that will take us out of his arms, nothing that will separate us from his love, and that we are his now and forever. If you belong to Jesus, then the Lord is your shepherd, and you can rejoice today in that. God's blessings be upon you.